Welcome back to the Coach's Show with Coach Tommy Tice. We're looking at last Friday night's game against the Alma Airedales where Harrison lost 39 to nothing. I try not to say that too much, Coach. Uh... I, think we, I think we've got that one down pretty good, Lord. We do. You know, I'm yeah. certainly not going to forget it. No, no, no. And, uh, but the positive things that we talked about is, uh, and you preach this uh, to not only us who do the media, but you preach it to your team. You can't get too high and you can't get too low. A loss... Uh, you know, in 5A West, I, nobody, and I don't care how good, you know, Greenbrier is or uh, or Alma, as we saw, Greenwood, nobody's going undefeated, you don't think, in the 5A West. No. You're, uh, you know, night in, night out on Friday night. You've got to come ready to play, um, especially on a road game and a very, very good team with a very, very talented uh, playmaker and Isaac McCoy, and we saw what, what can happen. Well, you know, age-old saying, you know, nothing's as good as it seems and nothing's as bad as right. it seems. We've seen very uh, several positive plays by the Goblins, and and we've seen some that uh, we, we didn't have to look at. But a lot of them are plays made by Alma, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, nothing's as good as it seems and nothing's as bad, and somewhere in between is where our reality lies. Right. And, uh, you know, we've won three ball games. Uh, I guarantee you three pretty good football teams, especially at the time we played them. Correct. And, uh, uh, you know, there's lots of people out there who would give uh, their IT to have those three victories against those three teams, I promise you. And uh, I know our football team, as well as you do, uh, very capable of playing good football. Mm-hmm. But we've been capable of playing not so good football. So uh, we need to mature. And maturity in a football player is the ability to do the same thing over and over and over. It's like a free throw shooter. <laughs> and you go up that free throw line and do the same thing over and over again. Eye contact, follow through, bend your knees, let's go. That's right. You know, well, it's the same way the football player, you know. He, you, you've got to mature. And maturity, like I say, in a football player is the ability to do the same thing over and over and over again. Well, Coach, let's look at the second half here. Uh, unfortunately, they won the uh, the toss and they deferred to the second half. And uh, for a team that's up 21 nothing, we're giving them right back to football. Yeah, you'd like to have the ball right here. And, of course, John does a great job kicking, and and uh, I think he's just the best kicker, you know, kickoff man in the state. We haven't tried many field goals, but uh, uh, you one know, for one, one for one, and then he definitely can hit them. Here's big old, this, old big th- boys rumbling and stumbling, and I'll guarantee you taking it to us. And he's a he's a load, much he, of a man. He's a big boy here. Now at this point, you know you're you're talking about. We're talking about in the booth, you know, do you key on McCoy? I mean, you you, you got to know where he is all the way on the field. Great play by Jensen. Uh, but they they figured well, out that somebody else is – You uh, can't you can't change your game plan. Right. Uh, you know, uh, you can't – if you single cover McCoy, uh, that's over, mm-hmm. you know. So, no, we're not going to change our game plan. Uh, we stayed with the same plan that we had. I think it was the right plan. We'd seen it work against him by uh, Van Buren and uh, – we thought we agreed with them that that was the way to play them. And we put them in a little second, what, second 15? Mm-hmm. But they hit a nice pass. Mikey makes a good tackle. Third and one, they hit a hot route. They picked up our blitzing linebacker. Miss a tackle right there, and that's out the gate. See, we sent the house. And uh, and once he gets past that line of scrimmage, once he's he tough. breaks the line of scrimmage, especially when you've taken your safeties and you've wheeled them down into what we call the box and lined them up in the C gaps, the gaps between the tight ends and the tackles, and bring them in there. And we just, you know, that's asking a lot right there. You know, and if you hadn't ever been back there when you're a 135 pounder <laughs> and uh, coach says that uh, you got the C gap and you got to tackle somebody that's, you know, six foot three, 185 pound and, and can go, mm-hmm. well, that's asking a lot, but I'm going to tell you something. Those young people will grow up and they'll become great players. Mm-hmm. The uh, the one thing I would say about on the defensive side I, that I probably we made reference to it is that uh, you never gave him a free shot when he was in the slot uh, or in a wide receiver spot to uh, to get away uh, freely. You're hitting him on the line, just trying to slow him up a little bit. I mean, he only caught one pass against us. Right, and and of course they didn't. They were in a the point there they didn't have to throw the mm-hmm. football. I mean, it just a, that's a nice catch by Big John. I think he had four catches in the ball game for about 60 yards, and he gets hurt later. And that really, you know, we hope he's going to get well quick because we uh, he's our leader. He's our old bell cow. Nice block here by Kyle Stewart. 
Lots of time throw the football. Excellent throw, really, just past the outstretched hands of the outside linebacker, and John picks it off the grass. Nice playing on natural grass. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you bet. Wouldn't trade what we've got for it, but uh, – it's nice every now and then just to get back to the old days of playing on dirt. And oh, yeah, you like it every now and then. But, you know, we only play on it twice twice this year. Nice throw and catch. Brooks up the seam. Look at all the green jersey. Boy, they run to the football really well. Their defense was fast. Good block here. Look at this block by Colton Spears. Yes, Look I, at this I, block by Spears. I made a reference to that during, during the, uh, the telecast that said, I, I'm sure Coach Tice saw that. And uh, and he said has said plenty of times if you're gonna if you want the football you got to block somebody. Well, that's right. It's not what you do yeah. with the ball, really. Uh, it's because there are more plays that you don't have it. Yeah, I told uh, I told nice Jim play here. Told Jim Johnson up in the booth. I said you need to give uh, old Colton Spears a pancake block on that one. Well, we give out uh, we give out lightning bolts for uh, uh, good plays, mm -hmm. and uh, of course pancake blocks are uh, part of that. And we certainly. Put a lightning bolt on old Colton Spears' helmet right there. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a big one for him. That was a nice block. You could see it helped freed up. You know, we're, we are in, we're making our way into the territory again. We, we're right. at the 50. Uh, like I said, we've done nice well moving back it. there by Dyson. Well, I'll tell you what, old Tate, bless his heart, he's not very strong. He's kind of like a, well, I used to say, he's pretty wiry. <laughs> but, uh, then we go. Then we're going to help them a little bit with a five-yard penalty. And we weren't penalized very many times in the ball game. But each time you're penalized, it hurts. Especially when we're, we're making a little progress. Move yep. the football. Positive things. Um, Keep it positive. You're looking for, for uh, small, uh, small gains, small um, steps that you can grow on. Right. And we just overthrow the receiver. Got the receiver open on the post pattern, and we just overthrow. Had a great time. Throws great blocks there by Stewart and Dyson. There's handing that ball off and swarming to the football. And look at that. Six, 53 and 67. Those are big, big fellas. Big boys. And they're good players. 46. Oh, if he gets those shoulders square coming down the field, I guarantee you he can put the – Fear into any heart of any player. Yeah, you run against the two big linemen, 320 and 380, and you put him back there in the back coming. Now here's where John gets hurt, and actually he gets hurt. Uh, one of our own guys uh, bumps into him, and uh, uh, he's got a pretty sore neck. And like I say, I hope his availability for the Greenwood contest uh, uh, is in doubt right now. He's been in practice all week. Of course, no contact. And we'll just have to wait and see. But watch here. He and 56 collide. Oh, you know, helmet to helmet, uh, and John goes down. Coach Leo, you got to—he does a great job with your on the injury side and trying to keep these guys healthy. Yeah, and John, you know, John was never knocked out. Mm -hmm. I mean, he knew everything. He knew he knew how the lick took place and everything like that. But uh, uh, precautionary, get John out of the ball game. He felt like he could have gone ahead and played, but there was no need to play. Mm -hmm. Nice job here by our defense, Corey Gelvin. I think that's Trey again making a play. There's Taylor Wells, 56, and there's old Mitch. Mitch is always going to be mm -hmm. hustling. There's that big back again. again. And uh, it's easy to say, well, we ought to be sticking that old boy right there in the numbers, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. That's a, that's a tough a task. Yes. And it's a tough real task for, you know, uh, juniors and sophomores playing against those guys. And here he is right in the end zone. You know, and, and he looks big on the screen, but when you seen him at the ball game, he was, uh, he was a big dude. He's a big dude, and, uh, you know, he's an ornery dude, too. You know, he, <laughs> he might uh, – nice. Nah, see, there's no give up there. Yeah. You, know, we, you know, you could have mailed in and said, well, we ain't going to try to block that thing. Hey, right there. Uh, good old Colton Spears. Right there, hustling, keep playing. Three minutes left here in the third quarter. And that's a good thing, let it go in the end zone. That, that four down there, take the ball on the 20. 
Another pop out here to Brooks. Picks up about seven. Again, offensive line's doing a good job. Get a fake right here. He pulls the ball down. And we're going to be setting up shop about their 42-yard line. That design play? Well, he pulled the ball down. We were going to throw it at what's we're going to throw it out here and they get in the in the passing lane. So he was he had the awareness uh to pull that thing down and make a make something out of really out of nothing because the play broke down uh because of their defensive efforts. A little trap play up inside. Dorman keeps running forward. That's a good job. Pretty good trap block by Dyson. Nice throw and catch here to Covan. Covan's been a, a nice uh, addition to our team here the last couple yeah. of weeks. We uh, we you mentioned that last week talking about him. He's getting better week after week, working hard in practice. Um, and that's how you get there. That's right. You work hard in practice. You go to work every day. And if you think you can leave practice a better player than you came out there without working hard, you're crazy. But you can. Uh, you know, he's a shining example of it, of coming out there, working hard, believing in himself. Right here, oh, man, we're down at the 25-yard line and we snap the ball over the quarterback's head. We hadn't done that all year. That has not happened to us. Try shot down the sidelines, well covered. Trying to hit Covan down the sideline. Bring Dorman in motion. Nice throw and catch again to Covan over here. And I don't <laughs> – I thought they just kind of threw us out of bounds there. <laughs> nice, look at that catch in his hands. Mm -hmm. Looks it all the way in. Make Drops sure his shoulder, tries to get upfield. Make sure he's got it before he takes off. And that's true. And, you know, fundamentals, and again, something that you can work on and practice. Fourth and 20. Unfortunately, we – we, you know, we the snap hurt us. Otherwise, you know, we're moving into a, maybe even a chance for a field goal attempt. Well, you know, we felt like, you know, coming into the ball game, of course, we didn't know how big of an uh, addition Henley was going to make, but he made a big addition to them. Uh, their defense had been kind of suspect, but, boy, you get that all-state linebacker back. Picks up about five, quarter's going to end. Again, hats off to Alma. They did a great job on us. Physically, uh, they beat us up pretty good. 